ஸ்ரீ குரு பியோ நம சில்ட்ரன் வி வெல்கம் டு ஆன்லைன் டீச்சிங் அகாடமி ஏகலைவா திஸ் இஸ் சிபிஎஸ்இ கிளாஸ் ஃபைவ் சப்ஜெக்ட் இவியஸ் லெசன் லெட் பி கிளீன் அண்ட் ஹெல்த்தி பார்ட் ஒன் children why clean surroundings are so important a clean surroundings are essential for disease prevention we can live a healthy life and we can leave future generations a healthy earth dirty surrounding causes harm or discomfort to living things it can cause a number of health problems malaria dengue cholera etc come on children at the end of this session we will know more about these objectives keeping our surroundings clean types of diseases now we are going to learn about keeping our surroundings clean we must follow some steps and some changes in our lifestyle to maintain clean green and disease free environment never litter in our daily life we throw away a lot of things make it a habit not to throw any waste material anywhere be it in your school your home or on the roads parks etc reuse what is it the use of a product more than once in its same form for the same or similar purpose glass and metal items can be washed and used again and again if you have plastic jars and bottles they can be washed and reused for storing things recycle children why should we recycle when you transform something old into something new it a benefits the environment in a number of ways materials and natural resources are not wasted energy is saved during the manufacturing process glass and metal can be melted down and made into objects some plastic containers and bags can also be recycled not all plastics can be recycled use waste plastic and other materials to make decorative items paper of all kinds can be recycled to produce cardboard and packing papers reduce use only what is needed do not waste any type of resources do not waste food and add to the garbage use less plastic things do not use plastic shopping bags which tear easily use cotton jute or paper bags which can be used again and again differentiate the garbage the blue and green dustbins are used to segregate two different kinds of waste the green is meet for wet waste while the blue is dry waste waste segregation is done to easily separate the waste based on the process of recycling use public transport public transportation helps to keep traffic congestion lower which in turn reduces air pollution from vehicle and helps riders avoid the stress that comes from daily driving in highly congested areas say no 
to polythene bags the polythene bags are non biodegradable that is they cannot be decomposed by microorganisms into the free state of nature they may they remain as they are even after many years decays even the animals consuming these polythene bags die an unnatural death due to the damage caused in their internal body system use jute cloth or paper bags encourage people in your family to use eco friendly bags instead of plastic ones types of diseases children now we are going to learn about types of diseases disease is a condition when our body does not function properly a person suffering from any disease becomes weak and feels sick diseases occur due to many reasons some diseases are caused when a particular part of the body stops functioning properly and some are caused due to deficiency of particular minerals or vitamins in the body such diseases which are caused due to deficiency of vitamins and minerals are called deficiency diseases diseases can be commonly classified into two classes one is communicable diseases and another one is non communicable diseases communicable diseases or diseases that can be spread from one person to another and cause a large number of people to get sick children at present which communicable disease is very pandemic why are the children not going to school yes corona virus disease covid 19 is an infectious disease caused by a newly discovered corona virus how does the corona virus spread most of the time it spreads when a sick person coughs or sneezes they can spread droplets as far as 6 feet away if you breathe them in or swallow them the virus can get into your body what are the preventive measures to follow to protect us from covid 19 Wash your hands frequently with the soap or use hand sanitizers. Stay at home if you have signs and symptoms of an infection. Practice social distancing. Don't touch your eyes, nose, mouth. they can get into your body non communicable diseases the diseases that do not spread from one person to another nor they caused by germs are called non communicable diseases some of the non communicable diseases are heart diseases asthma anemia diabetes cancer etc causes of communicable diseases communicable diseases are caused by very small organisms called germs there are different kinds of germs bacteria virus protozoa and fungi let me see about bacteria Bacteria are germs that cause diseases like typhoid, tuberculosis and cholera. Next, virus. Virus are germs that cause diseases like chickenpox, measles, dengue, etc. Protozoa. Protozoa are germs that cause diseases like malaria 
sleeping sickness amoebic dysentery etc fungi fungi causes ringworm and candidiasis preventive measures cover your mouth and nose with a tissue when you cough or sneeze throw used tissues in the trash if you don't have a tissue cough or sneeze into your elbow not your hands washing your hands is one of the easiest ways to protect yourself and others from illness such as food poisoning and flu wash hands more often and thoroughly if you have some skin infection avoid touching the rashes and blisters sharing water bottles straws and spoons could lead to saliva being carried from one mouth to others this could spread cold and strep throat so don't share your water bottles and hand towels with others vaccination is another way of protecting ourselves by acquiring immune immunity against certain diseases if you are uh, suffering from a communicable diseases which can affect others stay at home till you are properly cured i hope you all enjoy this session children thank you